This is the Nathan Airtime K5 LA train horn. Hello ladies and gentlemen, the name is DJ Luna and I'm going to be your DJ for this demonstration. Ladies and gentlemen, about a year ago I filmed a video for a person who requested me to talk a little bit about the air system that I use for my K5. This video was sent out originally to Horn Blasters 07. Well, today I'm going to go ahead and redo that video and we're going to show a little bit of the difference that I from that I use on my K5 from the previous video to the current video now. As you can see, this is my K5 LA train horn right here. Um, I've since then rebuilt it and retuned it, so this way it's working at optimum performance. And I've also changed the air system. Today we're also going to be filming this in high definition, so if you go ahead and click on your lower right hand corner of the screen, you'll be able to see this in full high definition. Yes. Let's, let's go ahead and jump into my van here. And let's go ahead and talk about the air system. Let's flip the video camera screen around and let's go ahead and head towards the air tank. Ladies and gentlemen, as the last time you saw in that video, you saw this red air tank. Well, guess what? Still using the same air tank, but I've made some changes. And in the previous video, you remember that you saw only this fitting that was on the red tank. I've since then taken it off and made some modifications to it. What I did was I added a quarter turn gas valve and I've put the quick connect adapters on the quarter turn valve to allow me to use this quick connect so I can disconnect and reconnect the air tank very quickly. This same connect is the same thing used as you find on air tools at a local mechanic shop and this is the airline that I use to go ahead and feed the 22 inch Grover Stutter Tone truck horns that I have that are on the roof of the van with the K5. Now what I have since then was isolated the truck horns from the K5 so the valve system is no longer powering both the train horn and the truck horns it's separate valves now I turn on this if I want the K5 uh, if I want the truck horns and I use this valve right here for my K5 well ladies and gentlemen this is probably every train horn enthusiast dream come true as far as the valve systems are concerned this is the Graham White 353-100. It's basically the same thing as the 101, except the fact that it's a little bit different in color from what I from what I've researched. I'm not 100% sure of the differences, but from what I can see, it's different from the hand color, the handle color right there. But basically, it does the same thing. What I do here is I use a quarter turn gas valve here to power the train horn and as you can see I'm using a much larger diameter airline the original airline was 5 8 inch, uh, inch diameter on the external and it was 3 8 on the inside where this one is 1 inch diameter and it is 5 8 internal diameter both hoses are rated for about 200 psi or more this one was actually rated 300 this one actually rated 200 according to the manufacturer's specifications the Graham White valve is the same kind of valve that is used on diesel locomotives. The diesel locomotive operator will go ahead and pull on this handle, which is spring-loaded. So as soon as I let it go, it shuts closed. Now obviously I have the air system off right now, so this way I'm not blowing the train horn. But let me show you what I've done differently here. In the previous video, I had a spring-loaded quarter-turn gas valve that was located on the K5. As you can see, I'm no longer using that. The K5 now is hooked up directly to this air hose, which you can now follow that air hose all the way down right to the Graham White valve. The truck horn is the same air hose that I used previously, but now instead of going to the train horn, I've just basically now have it routed directly to the truck horn. So, this is the valve that controls the truck valve, uh, truck horns, and if I go ahead and pull on this line, only the truck horns will sound, never the K5. This is only controlling the K5. So as you can see right here, if I go ahead and turn on the air system for the truck and the train horns, you can hear the, the, you can hear it right now powering up. So here's the truck horns. This is the train horns. Big difference in sound. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully that hopefully that was go ahead and was helpful for you on what you wanted to uh, know about my air system, on my valves, on my train horns, and everything like that. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on the video underneath the video right here. And I can hear my neighbors talking right now. <laughs> I woke them up. <laughs> But then again, this should be up already. It's already 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Anyway, but that's it right there, ladies and gentlemen. The K5 LA train horn.